Okay. Um, so, first and foremost, um, I just about made a catastrophic mistake as I was uh, trying to make some changes inside my Firebase and uh, delete a couple of uh, apps from a project. My uh, my mind went off track, I guess, as to what exactly I was doing, and I ended up deleting my entire project, which was a little disconcerting for a moment. Um, however, thankfully, you can recover your projects within Firebase if you do accidentally <laughs> delete it. Um, it's kind of kind of sad that I deleted it though because I had to confirm in like four or five different boxes that I actually wanted to delete the thing and I did that anyway. Um, but I guess that's what happens whenever your mind is going off in a thousand different directions uh, at the same time. So in any case, uh, not completely catastrophic. So for this tutorial, um, this, is, this is a really short one. This actually ties into um, a uh, bigger t tutorial that I'm working on. Um, but I figured I would go ahead and show you how to do this in Firebase in case you don't know. Um, just some context real quick. If you create a Firebase project for an app um, and Google Firebase has put a limit on the number of projects that you can create or you don't want to have uh, a thousand different projects going on at one time, you can actually uh, host multiple apps within a single project. And you can you can feed those apps off of the same Firestore, off of the same storage, authentication, and everything. So it's, it's useful to be able to have multiple apps running from one project. That way you can tie in different apps uh, to the same user base and things like that. So if you had a couple of different apps on, on the marketplaces that did different things, but you wanted them all to, to tie into the, the same Firestore, it is totally possible to do that um, within Firebase and Flutterflow. However, uh, when I was first trying to figure out how to do that back several, several months ago, I wasn't entirely sure what the process was, and I figured that I could just go into my new app on Flutterflow I could type in the, the Firebase project ID and click connect and then do the auto generate config files and it would set everything up for me in Firebase just like it does when you initially set up a, a project in Firebase. Um, but I quickly realized that's not the case and what ends up happening is your config files end up overriding whatever config files were already there. Um, so you actually have to go into Firebase and uh, create the apps inside Firebase first um, and then do everything from Flutterflow's side. So uh, first and foremost within Flutterflow, the thing that you want to check is uh, you want to make sure you have your package name set up here. Um, you do have to have a package name to associate in Firebase. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that so I have it. And I'm going to drag Firebase over here. Um, and so this, uh, this project is actually the social media app project that I've, I've done some tutorials on where we're working through creating a, a social media application. And uh, instead of creating a whole new project for this other tutorial that I'm going to be working on, I'm just going to plug it into this, this uh, Firebase project and actually do all of my tutorials from this project. And so I'll just have multiple apps in here as needed. So you can see that I've got these in here. Um, for my uh, for my tutorials that I'm doing. Um, so I need to actually add an Android app, an Apple app, and a web app for uh, this, this other project or this other tutorial that I'm working on. So um, to get there, you go to your project overview in Firebase, project settings, and then you scroll down until you see your, your list of apps. And then add an app, and we'll start with iOS. And you'll plug your package name in there that, that I grabbed off of Flutterflow. And you can give it a name if you want to, to identify it. And the tutorial is gonna be a marketplace app, so that's what I'm gonna put there. And you can leave that blank, uh, unless you are putting it on the app store and you already have that set up, you can do that. But none of these tutorials, right now anyway, will be going on the app store. And then you register the app. 
and you can skip over all this if you plan to deploy uh, your config files from within Flutterflow and operate entirely inside of Flutterflow, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to skip over all that and continue to console. <clears throat> and now you can see I've got that uh, iOS app in there. So I do the same thing for Android. Okay. And then I can do one for web if I want to. This this isn't really relevant to Flutterflow per se, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in there anyway. All right, so now I've got those those apps um, built in my Firebase. So now I can go back over here, and I do want to grab my project ID from from Firebase. And then go down here to my, my Firebase. And then I can connect in like that. And I'll go here. Um, I'll set up my Firebase this way. I already have a user's collection. Uh, so I don't need to create another one. I do want to enable authentication. Oops, didn't want to do that yet. I'll leave all, that, leave all that stuff alone. Deploy my in, indices. And generate. So you want to make sure that your package name is the same as the one that you just set up in Firebase. Alright, there we go. So now we're good to go. So now we're communicating over here uh, with our with the apps that I just created over in Firebase. So that's uh, that's the process for doing that. I just figured I'd do a quick tutorial on that to show you how to get get those things um, connected um, so that you can begin working inside of. Uh... That's interesting. Seems it removed my collections. I had some collections in here, but I guess I got rid of them. Oh well. Okay. Well, I guess I'll. Uh, I guess I'll build those again. Oops. All right. Uh, but anyway, so that that's all. That's all set up and, and ready to go there. So I'm going to start working on the other tutorial of how all this ties in together.